Hello my fellow oddities, welcome to a new video. So recently there's been some rumors going around that there's going to be some spin-offs to the Mortal Kombat movie that came out this year. No, the good one. There you go. Now I'm really excited about this because I really like that movie, which seems to be a controversial opinion because some people are very very mixed on this movie. There are some people, like me, who think it's the best Mortal Kombat movie that we've ever gotten, and there are some people who think it's worse than Annihilation and Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 2. AKA idiots. Alright, I guess that's being a bit harsh. The movie does have its... problems. Cole Young. And of course it's not perfect, but it's as good as we're gonna get until WB stops interfering with the director and writer's movie. I mean, the writer of this movie, Greg Russo, is clearly a huge Mortal Kombat fan. But, because of WB, he was forced to work with a script that was made by people who were not Mortal Kombat fans at all. And you can tell if you read those old scripts. It has stuff like Cole Young turning into Scorpion and the final battle not taking place in, like, an ice arena. No. In a suburban neighborhood. A Mortal Kombat movie that ends with the final battle being in a suburban neighborhood. Yeah, the movie could have been a lot worse. But anyways, all of that is kind of a video for another time. Today, I'm going to be covering my top 5 spin-offs that I want to see to the Mortal Kombat movie 2021. But before we get started, remember if you end up enjoying the video, then you should definitely give it a like as it'll help my channel grow and get this video seen by more people. You should also subscribe and turn on the bell for all notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And finally, comment down below what you would like to see for a Mortal Kombat movie 2021 spin-off. All right, let's get started with number five, Mortal Kombat Conquest Remake. Now about half of you guys are saying, what's Mortal Kombat Conquest? And the other half is saying, why the heck would you remake Mortal Kombat Conquest? If you don't know, Mortal Kombat Conquest is a story about the great Kung Lao, and it's set in the same universe as the Mortal Kombat 1995 movie and Annihilation. The Great Kung Lao was basically the previous champion of Earthrealm before Liu Kang. Way before. He defeated Shang Tsung in a tournament of Earthrealm against Outworld. But when the next tournament came around, uh, Shang Tsung brought in Goro, so I think you can guess how that turned out. <laughs> now Mortal Kombat Conquest was not very good. It was very boring, it was very drawn out and unnecessarily long, and I mean, the word that can just explain all of it is just really boring. So if you made this a series with like six to nine episodes, I think that would be better than like, I think there was like 20 episodes of Conquest, something like that. My version of Mortal Kombat Conquest would have the rise and fall of the Great Kung Lao. It would start off with Kung Lao rising up and defeating Shang Tsung, and then, after that, well, Goro. I think a remake of the series would be very interesting since, besides for Mortal Kombat Conquest, we haven't really explored any of the Mortal Kombat Great Kung Lao era. We're about to with Mortal Kombat 12, I'm assuming. But it'd be interesting to see it in this version of the story. I mean, we do know the Great Kung Lao exists in this universe because of some of the murals in Raiden's temple. But yeah, that's all I have to say about that show. Going on to number four, the Special Forces show with Jax and Sonya. Now, there was a Special Forces game released in 2000 that is pretty widely considered the worst Mortal Kombat media ever produced. In fact, the development of this game caused the co-creator of Mortal Kombat, John Tobias, to completely leave the franchise. It was that bad. Now, a Special Forces TV show is probably one of the most popular spin-offs that people have been throwing around. And honestly, it's probably the second or third most likely to actually happen. Now how would I do it? Well, my version would be after the events of that first Mortal Kombat movie. And basically, since Kano died, the Black Dragon have just been kind of all over the place without a leader. In fact, some of the Black Dragon go off and make their own new clan, the Red Dragon. This would allow for characters like Movado, Tremor, Tazia, Jarek, Actually, I think Jarek is dead in this timeline, isn't he? I forgot about Jarek, that prick. Yeah, his head's probably on a stick somewhere by now. And even Su Hao. Yeah. But, I personally wouldn't be that excited for this show, just because Special Forces is like, the least interesting side of Mortal Kombat. So, it'll probably be fine. I'd of course watch it, but I doubt it's going to be anything mind-blowing. And for number three, 
a Raiden spinoff. Now, I know what a lot of you are going to say. Raiden was terrible in Mortal Kombat 2021. Why would you make a spinoff off of him? First of all, you're wrong. And second of all, even if he was a bad character in Mortal Kombat 2021, which he wasn't, wouldn't it make sense to build upon a character who wasn't done very well and make him better instead of just making more series on characters that we all know are going to be great? I mean, remember how many people hated Jackie Briggs in MKX? Now people actually kind of like her because of MK11. And that's because MK11 actually built upon her story instead of just doing nothing with it like MKX did. But anyway, I'm getting off topic with Jackie Briggs. We're talking about Raiden. This wouldn't actually be much of a Raiden spinoff. I just don't know what else to call it. It would actually be more of like the gods spinoff. And by gods, I mean just Raiden and just Fujin. It would be basically a story about the fall of Shinnok. It would be kind of like the Star Wars prequels specifically episode 3, where Shinnok starts off as just a normal elder god who's doing fine, and then we just show his slow deterioration into the villain we all know and sort of love. Do people actually like Shinnok? I have no idea. We would find out how Raiden and Fujin defeated Shinnok, which we know happened because of another mural that was in the first movie, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the actual movie, but it was on set, so I'm just gonna pretend it's canon. We would also find out how Shinnok's amulet works and how it got to Raiden's temple. And the post credit scene of the final episode would probably be something like revealing that Kano never put back the amulet, so now Shinnok is probably loose somewhere, causing havoc. Alright, and now we're on to number two, a Sub-Zero spinoff. This is the second most likely to happen, because Joe Taslam, the actor who plays Sub-Zero in the first Mortal Kombat movie, really wants this thing to happen. And I'd have to agree. It'd probably be based off something like Sub-Zero mythologies, and would obviously have to be before the movie, because... You know. Yeah, it'd probably be something pretty simple. It would show Sub-Zero's life in the Lin Kuei, probably introduce his brother, Kwai Lang, aka the real Sub-Zero. Maybe introduce Sarax, Sector, and Smoke as well. And just show Bihan's life as an assassin. It would also probably tie into the Raiden show a little bit if they decided to do something with mythologies, and it would probably introduce Quan Chi, and maybe even have Shinnok in there somewhere. Who knows? But let's go on to number one. My number one pick for a Mortal Kombat spinoff would be... The Cole Young TV Show. This would be a series where Cole Young and his family go on a road trip in their iconic truck, which is still destroyed, and they go around finding new Earthrealm warriors to fight in the tournament. And it would include such characters as Mocap, Dairu, and Chujinko. Woo! I'm so excited for this series! Don't you believe you this? I will tear out each one of your employee souls until there's nothing left in your company. I swear, don't ever use Cole Young ever again! No, but the real number one is the Shaolin Monk spinoff. Obviously. This is the most likely one to happen, just because Ludi Lin and Max Wong have basically been begging for this to happen, and of course, it's a guarantee. Now, obviously, the series would have to be a prequel, because, you know... I actually don't know a lot of how this would go, just because the original Shaolin Monks game kind of relies a lot on Mortal Kombat 2, and seeing as this universe hasn't even gone to Mortal Kombat 1 yet, uh, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't even know who the villains would be, because they can't have, like, Shang Tsung and Outworld. I have no idea, but it better happen. Liu Kang and Kung Lao had some interaction in the first movie. I think every single scene that Kung Lao is in, Liu Kang was also in, and I think there's only like one scene before Kung Lao dies where Liu Kang is not with Kung Lao. And people who say that Kung Lao and Liu Kang never interact in this movie are just plain wrong. If they want to see a movie where Kung Lao and Liu Kang never interact, they can watch Battle of the Realms. But I will admit that there was not enough interaction at all, and that was very disappointing. But with the series, they could add a lot more. And that's why I'm looking forward to the Shaolin Monk spinoff the most. It is going to happen. I am really excited. And yeah, that's my list. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, then you should definitely give it a like. You should also subscribe and turn on the bell for all notifications. And finally, comment down below what you would do for a Mortal Kombat spinoff. That's it for this video, my fellow oddities. I'll see you next time.